using the triangle angle bisector theorem. Remember, the triangle angle bisector theorem says, if a ray bisects an angle of a triangle, then it divides the opposite side into two segments that are proportional to the other two sides of the triangle. For this diagram, this big angle IGH is bisected by GK. We know that because they are more congruent. That means this side IH is going to be proportional to the other two sides of the triangle. So IK over KH will be equal to IG over HG. So let's write that out. IK over KH is going to be equal to IG over HG. Now that we have our proportion with the measures of the sides, or the ends of points of the sides, we can substitute in the values. And for IK, we'll substitute X. And for KH, we'll substitute 30. And for IG, we'll substitute 24. And for HG, we'll substitute 40. Use our cross products. 40 times X will give 40X. And 30 times 24 will give 720. Divide each side of that by 40. X is equal to 18. So there's example 3 using the triangle angle bisector theorem.